I'm just going to go live. I'm not used to this. No? Nah. <laughs> you, you, you do it. I'll do it. I'll just say, I've got to change the date of the Brexit betrayal march. If you're watching this, give it a share, please. Um, because there's a date of the 1st of December that's being spread everywhere. And I've got to change it. And I apologise to anyone who's already started making their plans and their travel arrangements. But there are multiple reasons. One reason, there's a... Ex, ex, ex armed forces are protesting in Manchester on the 1st. There's also a protest by members of our ex armed, armed forces outside the Ministry of Defence on the 1st. Um, they're protesting against the, the harassment of ex Northern Ireland veterans, I believe. And after speaking with some of them, they felt that this would draw attention away from their demonstrations. There's that reason, that's one reason. The other reason is that we want Lord Pearson to speak. Lord Pearson can is not available on the 1st of December. The vote in the House of Commons will be on the 10th of December, Monday the 10th of December. So the change of date is now to the 9th. The, the protest will be on Sunday the 9th, the day before their vote, which is why we need as many people as possible. This isn't the Tommy Robinson protest at all. This is the betrayal the Great Betrayal Protest. I am literally, I, as I said last night, I sat and waited for Tory Brexiteers, I sat and waited for, for Nigel Farage, I sat and waited for someone to organise and orchestrate and bring people together for something, and no one was. So to all the Brexiteers out there, to everyone who feels frustrated and, and feels like they're being sold mm -hmm. in the biggest democratic vote of our country's history, we're being sold out. So it's now the 9th, please spread that. Um, Jared, I know we don't do live streams, but we're... Saying hello. This is a novelty, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Well, it's uh, the Brexit betrayal march, if you've described it, but what it also is, is that Brexit means exit. March. It's about what Brexit should mean a full, complete, unencumbered exit from the European Union, not the stitch up and the betrayal that we've had from Mrs. May, which I think is going to find, she's going to find it difficult to get that through Parliament on the 10th. It also has to come to the European Parliament for a vote. There's no guarantee we're going to vote it through, although it's so bad, probably most of the, um, the rest of the non-UKIP MEPs in Parliament will vote it through, but we'll have to wait and see. But what's really important is we get thousands and thousands of people out saying that this is not what we voted for in the referendum. We voted for a complete exit from the European Union, and that's all we're going to settle, settle for. The referendum was just the first battle in a war, and that was the war to get Britain out of the European Union. That battle was won, but we haven't won the war yet, and we've got to keep on fighting till we get it. You heard it. The ninth. Get that shared everywhere, because I know so many people are sharing the first. So any blogs, any websites, any news outlets that have already printed that it's on the 1st of December, please change that. It's Sunday the 9th. It's one day. It's one day. Yeah. One day, I know it's coming up to Christmas, but it's one day to make your travel arrangements, make your plans. Everyone will be there. Um, it's going to be a big demonstration. We've already reserved, I've just double-checked this morning, the PA system, that the stage. There are huge PA systems that everyone can hear. The stage, um, we're going to... It also gives us an extra week. So it gives us an extra week, and it doesn't, it doesn't cross paths with any of the veterans' organisations' dates that they already had already planned for. Sunday, 9th of December... In London, Jared will be speaking, I'll be speaking, uh, Lord Pearson will be speaking, and plenty other. Gus, Gus, who I went to visit yesterday, I I'll actually be sleeping out tomorrow night with Gus. Any other ex members of the armed forces who want to join him, they've set a tent up there. There'll be a video going out about that today. But there'll be lots of people, make your arrangements, please. If it's, and again, it's just like, if you felt feel it's important it's the most important thing none of the problems can be solved not one of the things or issues we talk about or i talk about can be solved at all if we don't free ourselves from the european union so the government the establishment have to be aware of the public outrage that they'll be at and the public frustration at, at the betrayal of the vote so please 9th of december share that absolutely everywhere Hello, yes, Brexit is being sabotaged by Tommy Robinson and Jared Batten. 
That's right. You've just watched a video of Tommy Robinson and Jared Batten where Tommy Robinson announces there's to be a Brexit betrayal march on the 9th of December, a day before the Commons vote on Brexit. A coincidence, of course. Tommy Robinson also announces in the video, a, or should I say, he uh, issues a disclaimer where he's saying it's not a Tommy Robinson march. Well, it is. You're announcing it. Of course, it's a Tommy Robinson march. And the reason you've announced it is so that can give the left the excuse it needs to mobilise against it. You see, if this was a real Brexit betrayal march, right, Jared Batten would have been announcing it, wouldn't he? Minus you. Or Nigel Farage, minus you. But no, you're there announcing it, like I've said. This then gives the left the excuse to mobilise against it. And talking about the left, the so-called anti-racist left, they're working, the leaders that is, they're working for the same outfit Tommy Robinson and Jared Bant work for. It's a double act, haven't you? got on this year, you lot on the left. It's a double act, right? But anyway, so Tommy Robinson announces there's going to be a Brexit betrayal march and it's going to be a day before the Commons vote on Brexit. Well, like I've said, a coincidence, of course. You know you know what, Mr Farage, you must be able to see right through all this now, surely to go. But I'm sure you do. You're an astute man. You know what's going on, right? And what I've noticed now is the more desperate they are to derail Brexit, the more the spies are showing their hand, Tommy Robinson, um, Jared Batten, it's so obvious now, it's a double act with them two, isn't it? With Tommy Robinson calling the shots with Jared Batten sitting in the background. And like I've said in previous videos, Mr Farage, why would you want to get back involved with UKIP when you've got to contend with the likes of Jared Batten and all the rest of the snitches that are in there? Let's just say they don't allow Tommy Robinson in. You're still, you've still got to contend with... Uh, those in the party that are there to bring UKIP down. Unless you get rid of them all, I don't know. But Tommy Robinson, Jared Ban, and the left, they all work for the security services. And it's to demonise Brexit, associate Brexit with violence, dangerous people with dangerous ideas. And this is what they're going to do. And there's going to be violence with the Tommy Robinson Roadshow. And then all the idiots on the left do. Again, they're just dupes and pawns in all this, like the angry heads are. Okay, thank you.